Hi, I'm Mrs. McDonald, and I'm substituting kindergarten today. And I found this lovely book. It's called In the Pond. I just thought I have to read it to you. I read it to my class earlier, and they're at recess, so now it's your turn. It's by Anna Milborn and Matt Russell. Look at all these dragonflies. There they are, just flitting around. In the pond. In the pond. There's a frog sitting on a lily pad. And here's some cattails. Down at the pond in a, on a bright spring day, two swans glide gracefully along, and ducks turn tail up, dabbling for pond weed. Lots of little jelly eggs are floating in the water. The eggs have tiny blobs inside. What will they become? As the days drift by, the blobs start to grow. They get bigger and bigger, and look how they're changing their shape. They look like little, uh, little um, commas. <laughs> That's what I thought, little commas. Each one becomes a tadpole. The tadpoles wriggle out of their eggs and squiggle swim away. As the last little tadpole shivers free, a huge dark shadow looms above. <gasps> Suddenly, an enormous fish swishes down. His toothy, its toothy jaws gape open. Snap! <gasps> the little tadpole wriggles away just in time. The days grow warmer still, and spring slips into summer. Shimmering dragonflies dart around, and a pond skater tiptoes carefully across the water. Over in the reeds, there's a peep, peep, peep. One by one, six fluffy ducklings plop into the pond. They paddle in a bobbing line behind the mother duck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Some stop to stare at the butterflies. Then rush to catch back up. I think it's good to stop and look at the butterflies once in a while. Under the water, the tadpole is changing. He grows tiny legs at the back and the front. His wriggly tail shrinks and shrinks. Then, before you know it, he turns into a frog. He hop, hop, hops around, exploring the sunlit Pond. Oh, a teeny tiny fly flies by. Quick as a flash, the hungry frog rolls out his sticky tongue. Gulp. With a hop and a splash, he dives back into the cool water. Kicking his wide webbed froggy feet, he quickly swims away. If you come back to the pond one bright spring day, you might find lots more jelly eggs and the frog all grown up singing a croaky song. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. I thought it was nice. Anyhow, I'll talk to you later. Bye.